friends, today we're going to tackle those dreaded tasks that we keep putting off until we can put them off no longer. Let's get started. The focus of today's video is to clean those areas in my kitchen that I have been avoiding areas nobody sees i know it's going to be a huge job so i keep putting it off out of sight out of mind but it helps me to create a list whenever i am avoiding something because i'm feeling overwhelmed it prioritizes my tasks and it gives me a sense of productivity when i'm able to check an item off that list suddenly that huge project isn't so overwhelming anymore so I decided to tackle my refrigerator first. This was the task I was dreading the most and I always like to get the hard tasks out of the way. But as we all know, the refrigerator is one of the most important areas to focus on because this is what houses our food, both raw and cooked. So it's really important to keep it clean and hygienic. And I feel like I do a pretty good job keeping it clean on a regular basis by picking or wiping up any spills I see right away and cleaning out any crumbs as well as checking food on a regular basis for spoilage. But it's a good idea to do a thorough cleaning at least every few months. I think it's been longer than that for me. So the very first thing I do is empty the fridge of all of the food items and this step is pretty obvious, right? We all know that you have to empty the fridge first before cleaning it. So I am just going to set all the food items on the counter. If your fridge is extra messy, you might want to put these items in a cooler if you know it's going to take you a, a long time to clean out your fridge. Next, I'm going to take out all the shelving and drawers and I'm gonna give them a good cleaning with soap and water. I'm laughing right now because I just got done saying I'm really good about cleaning up spills on a regular basis and yet here was a spill on the upper shelf I wasn't aware of and apparently someone set the yogurt box on top of it and the yogurt box just stuck right to the spill like glue. So that's what I'm cleaning up here. I have no idea who did that. We will just blame that one on my husband. Now that I've washed all of the removable shelves and drawers, I'm going to move on to wiping down the interior. But first I'm going to vacuum up all of these crumbs that you see. It makes it so much easier to wipe down the surface. And I'm using a sponge and soap and water to clean the interior. It's really important to use a natural cleaner. You could also use a solution of vinegar mixed with water, although be aware of the potent scent of that. Um, and then for any tough stains, any food that's caked on, you could try making a paste of baking soda mixed with water and apply that to the stain and let it sit a while before wiping it.
now I'm going to reinstall all of the shelving and it might be a good idea to take a picture of your fridge before you pull everything out. This way you can remember how you had the shelving set up because I forgot exactly how I had it set up. So I had to play with it just a bit. Now on to the freezer and I am just going to follow the same steps I followed when I cleaned the fridge, pull all the food out, wipe everything down and put everything back. Feel free to pat yourself on the back when you have completed a big task. This is exactly how I felt once I finished cleaning out the fridge. It took me so long, but I was so happy when it was finished and it felt so good to have a nice clean fridge. So my job never ends. Now on to cleaning the tops of the cabinets and guys, this was a disgusting job. Look at this dust. I honestly was shocked. I thought I had cleaned up here not that long ago, but obviously that is not true because this dust was just caked on there. So I am using soap and water and a sponge of course, and I'm having to constantly repeatedly rinse out the soap and rinse the bowl and um, put new water in new soap and water and another way you can clean especially if you have grease mixed in with the dust is to use vinegar either straight vinegar or vinegar mixed with water you could also create that baking soda paste i talked about before and let that sit on any stubborn areas um, just be aware of the finish on your cabinet you might want to test it on your cabinet first. Moving on to my fridge, I'm dusting the sides, the top of it, and more importantly, the back of it. Look at all of this fur and dust. I didn't know I had a third animal in my household, but all that you see there is primarily fur. I have two dogs that are really heavy shutters, so their fur tends to accumulate underneath the fridge, and I just don't get back here often enough. So to clean this area, I am using a rag to wipe up all that fur. I was going to use a vacuum, but didn't want to clog it, and then I tried using the broom, but the fur was just sticking to the broom. So I opted for a wet rag to pick up all of the fur, and then I'm going to vacuum the remaining with uh, the vacuum wand and finally wipe it down. And I'm using the Method brand Wood for Good Cleaner. I love this stuff and a wet microfiber cloth.
Another task I don't do often enough is cleaning my baseboards. Now, I am only focusing on my kitchen baseboards in this video, and to clean the baseboards, I always vacuum up the dust first. You could also use a Swiffer duster or a microfiber cloth to dust, but it's important to remove the dust before you use your cleaning solution. And to clean them, I'm using a sponge and soap and water. I'm just wiping them down. And if I see any marks on the trim, like here I saw some marks from my vacuum cleaner, I love using the Magic Erasers. They do a really good job at removing the majority of marks on my trim. To clean my microwave, I'm going to use one cup of white vinegar and I'm going to put it in the microwave for five minutes. Now, be aware that by doing this, your kitchen is going to be pretty smelly. So, but I will get back to that later. Now I'm going to clean my light fixtures while that vinegar is doing its magic. And to clean the light fixtures, I'm just removing them. I'm going to wash them simply with water. And then I will dry them. I will also dust the actual light fixture itself before putting these glass votives in place. back to the microwave. So once that five minutes is up, you would be amazed at how wet your microwave is going to be. It's going to be soaked from that vinegar water, but that vinegar does such a great job at decreasing and just disinfecting. You're going to be able to wipe away much of the grime that you have in your microwave. And of course, if there's any really hard uh, grime that has accumulated, you can always use the baking soda paste. That works really well. Moving on to the dreaded oven. Now, my oven is not too bad, so I'm not going to be removing the racks because they're really not bad. I am going to clean the oven though using a paste of baking soda and water. I've talked about this before, but what I'm doing is I'm applying the paste anywhere that I see any grime that is caked on there. I'm going to let it sit for at least 20 minutes. The longer you let it sit, the more effective it's going to be. And as far as the shelves, I did apply some of the paste to some areas that needed it. But if you do need to, if your shelves are really bad with caked on stains, I would suggest soaking them in a dishwashing liquid in your tub. That's probably the best place because these shelves are so large. And just let them soak for like a couple hours and scrub at them using a scrubbing pad but thankfully mine weren't too bad so I was kind of going the lazy route and just cleaning them still in the oven. But once that baking soda has set, I'm going to wipe it away using water and just wipe everything clean. The last task on my list is to sharpen my knives. Now this might seem like an odd one, but I don't sharpen my knives really ever and they were getting really dull. So I looked online for a good little knife sharpening gadget and I saw this one on Amazon. It had really great reviews, so I had to try it and I have to say I am so impressed with this and I wanted to share it with you guys too because I, I really am impressed how well it works. You can see the little shavings from the knife as I am um, 
sharpening it, but this little gadget was maybe six, seven dollars. It's completely worth it. So I'll link it down below for anyone who's interested, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. You won't grow up.